This video is all about my tattoos and piercings because I asked you guys on Instagram whether it was something you would like me to film and 95% of you said yes. So here I am. By the way, my hair is back to my usual color because I didn't like pinky lilac -y silvery hair. So I went to my baby blonde. I think it's not there yet completely, but yeah, I'm going back to my color. I love it. I I feel like myself in it. Anyway, let's start with my piercings. The first earlobe piercings I got when I was maybe seven or eight. I believe I was um, in my first grade of school, but yeah, I remember it being quite painful and just a little bit of a traumatic experience. The lady did it with a shotgun and I just didn't like it <laughs> as a kid. And I had these really pretty golden hoops, but I lost them and so I let my ears grow back. So I had to get them repaired. I don't know when that was. Honestly, cannot remember. I need to ask my mom. <laughs> but pain level... I don't know, back then it was probably painful to me, um, so I don't know. I cannot really comment, maybe 5 out of 10. As a kid maybe it was like 9 out of 10. <laughs> um, but then I wanted to get second piercing, so I did that when I was at uni already and there's actually a vlog when I went to get these two piercings here so th second and third and then second one here and uh, yeah I got them done at a beauty salon with a shotgun again I would never do now because it's yeah it's not a proper way to pierce your ears there's more damage and it heals longer it, it's more prone to infection I mean yeah it's just horrible so I remember it being somewhat painful maybe four out of ten um, mainly because I got three piercings at once if I remember that correctly I'm not sure if I got two or three I believe three um, yeah I'll try to find that vlog and link it down below so you guys can watch it but my ears were so red and sore afterwards um, and this one healed fine but these two wouldn't heal I had so many problems I cleaned them but like yeah, they, they wouldn't heal, so I took the piercings out and let my ear uh, heal completely and, you know, the whole, let my holes close up, basically. So then, um, not too long ago, maybe a year, year and a half ago, um, I went to get them repierced. I was gifted a voucher by my cousin Daiva because I still wanted those piercings and so I went to Dynasty too to a piercer called Sandra and she pierced these with a needle and yeah it wasn't painful at all maybe I don't know 2 out of 10 um, but yeah they healed super fast because you know it doesn't really hurt to get your piercing here and they tend to heal fast if they're done properly of course so yeah, that's that. And again, I vlogged it. Um, I don't think I vlogged the process, but maybe just right after I got them pierced. Yeah, pretty sure. So I'm gonna link it down below if I can find that video. Um, and then the next piercing was this one inside the ear. I got it as a friendship piercing by Sandra again with my best friend Auxe. We went and got the same. So it was less last winter, last year, um, yeah, and it has healed already and the placement is quite good actually because you can sleep on your ear because it's like inside the ear so you don't really touch the earring. I think it looks nice, looks unique, um, not very common uh, piercing I would say. So pain level, again, wasn't too painful, maybe three out of ten. Um, again, Sandra did it with a needle, so super smooth, clean, painless. Oh no, actually before that I got my helix pierce, my first helix piercing. So that was when I went to Riga uh, for PR event and I wanted to get my helix pierced for a while. I saw a tattoo parlor, I walked in and there was this guy and I said, can I 
get a piercing here? He said, yeah, sure. Um, and I just got it there and then. And again, there is a vlog. Um, didn't hurt at all, maybe again, two out of 10. Um, I always thought that Helix would hurt, but it didn't. But afterwards, the healing process, oh my God, it took me a year. Maybe because I um, changed my earring too soon, I don't even know. But yeah, it took exactly a year to heal and I, was, I almost gave up, um, couldn't fuss with that earring anymore, it was painful. But thankfully I didn't give up and it healed and now it's fine. And so the most recent one, is my second helix piercing right above it uh, i got it done right before new year's eve uh, with auxa so aux and i went to sandra again she doesn't work at dynasty tattoo she now works at ink black tattoo studio on tilted street in Klaipeda. Um and yeah aux wanted to get her tragus pierced and i just went to accompany her basically and both of them, Auxa and Sandra, were like, you have to get a piercing, just do it. The piercer was like, yeah, get a new piercing, just in time for, for New Year's. I was like, guys, I don't even want one. I wasn't planning this, stop it. But they basically convinced me and um, yeah, this is what happened. I said, I don't even know where I want my piercing, but I decided on the second Helix piercing. And again, it didn't hurt. Um, I did insta story, so I'm gonna insert it here. I believe I didn't even flinch. It wasn't painful at all. Uh, the only thing that's not nice or like uncomfortable is once the ear is pierced and the piercer um, is trying to screw on the, the back of the earring basically. So then, you know, she's like kind of moving your freshly pierced ear. So then it's a little unpleasant, but the piercing itself it's yeah it's totally fine so two out of ten um or even one out of ten because you don't really feel it so quick i want to say it has healed but recently the past couple of days it's a little sore um i think it's because i went to a hair salon and i didn't say that i got my ear pierced two months ago so yeah those are all eight of my piercings and i actually got my cousin linda a voucher to get her ear pierced by Sandra because she just has simple, you know, earlobe piercings. Uh, my aunt wouldn't let her do it, so I'm gonna use Linda's voucher and get another piercing. So either a third one here or a rook piercing, probably on this ear, because actually with Auxa. Uh, when she was getting her tragus pierced, I said, I really want a rook piercing, like a little hoop on my rug because I find it really pretty. But I asked the piercer about the pain level and like, you know, everything. And she was like, well, it's um, maybe a little complicated to pierce in that place, might hurt a little bit. I was like, no, 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 I'm not having it. Although I'm pretty tolerant with pain, it seems. So I'm still thinking of either getting my rook or um, a third piercing here. And now I'm gonna tell you guys all about my earrings really quickly because I get asked a lot. Um, so, oh, out of focus. So these two are by Anya High, new collection, and I actually never take them out ever since I received them. I just, I sleep with them, I shower with them. Um, I think they're so, so beautiful. And I love hoop earrings because, you know, there's no, no back, so it's like, super comfy to sleep in. This one isn't a hoop though, so you have this um, butterfly, I think you call it, clasp. Um, so, but yeah, I still sleep on it anyway. So yeah, Anya High. Then this cute little star is by Lithuanian brand called Kari Kartel. I'm gonna try and link them all down below. This one is from ASOS years and years ago. The color, it's a silver hoop, super skinny, and it was gold, but the gold plating has worn off. But yeah, you can, I guess you can find something similar on, on ASOS. And then this one is by Astrid and Me, and it has opals, well, fake opals, and it's really pretty, like a very beautiful little hoop. Um, ideally, I would love to have all Maria Tash um, 
like hoops and little diamond earrings but they cost an arm and a leg and then that's my other ear so the same two Anya High um, earrings and then inside the ear uh, I have a Goriana earring which is super old I don't think they still make it but yeah it's pretty cute I actually recommend that you guys check out my IGTV video on layering jewelry. Um, this is my Instagram. Yeah, I did an IGTV a while ago um, layering my necklaces and my earrings. So I show lots of super cute little hoop earrings. Now let's move on to my tattoo stories. So I now have five tattoos in total. My first two tattoos I got when I was 15, believe it or not. I have no idea how my mom let me have them. I don't think I would be that mom, but never say never. I got them done at Dynast Tattoo 13 years ago. That sounds mental <laughs> and it makes me feel really old saying that. I was actually in my emo stage and I wanted these like crazy tattoos, a little skull with a bow on it. Thankfully my mom didn't let me have them and the only one from my examples um, that she agreed on was a little star. So the reason I wanted a star on my wrist is because I watched the movie The Devil Wears Prada, which to this day is one of my favorite movies. This movie is like a guilty pleasure that uh, one of my best friends, Gabriela, and I watch over and over again. And I think by now we know every single word, I have a DVD of it. And in that movie, uh, Giselle Bunchen, one of the models that I adore, made a cameo for like, what? 30 seconds or something and she basically rested her chin on her palm and you could see her wrist and she has a little star tattoo on her wrist and I was transfixed by it. I was like, oh my god, I want a little star on my wrist as well. So that's the main reason I got it. I think it's really cute but if I would get it done now, I would go for very fine lines. Uh, this is way too thick, but back then they didn't really have skinny needles and also um, the master, Dinus himself uh, did this tattoo on me. Um, it used to be the most prestigious um, tattoo salon in Klaipeda and he was, I think, the most famous tattoo artist. Um, so he did an outline of a star and then he went over it second time around. So that's why the star is quite thick. And um, I, I believe stars are pretty difficult to draw or tattoo because they can look a little wobbly. So in some angles, if I have my wrist like this, um, it looks fine. But if I move it around, it can look a little wobbly and uneven. But I don't know. I like it. Sometimes I don't like it and I think, oh, whoa, it's way too thick. I'm not a fan of it, but you know, it's part of me now and I have memories of it and it's my first ever tattoo and I don't think it was very painful. I mean, I was 15 back then, but I was pretty tolerant to it. I don't know, maybe four out of 10. And at the same time, I was, I was like, I'm not having just one tattoo. I got three little stars on my right foot and I love them. To this day, I think they're really cute. Um, I always look at my foot and I'm like, I like this tattoo. Um, but it was really painful because, you know, it's like skin and bones on your foot. So I would say it was seven, eight out of 10. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Um, so anyway, Fast forward 13 years, I wanted to get more tattoos and you know when you get one with tattoos you can get addicted and you always want another one then another one and this is what happened. I wanted one for years. I actually wanted to get a tattoo of a wildflower. When I was in China in Beijing visiting Auxe, we actually went to the art district of Beijing. Um, before that we actually drew tattoos on each other and then we went to the art district to a tattoo parlor we sat down we started flipping through the little booklet with tattoo examples because i think we were still unsure of what we wanted um i also wanted like a minimal line or something and um we we're like should we get it done should we not and then we decided to just leave it and we didn't get it done for my birthday last year my 28th birthday all my best friends actually got me a voucher to get a tattoo done because they knew about it um 
And so, yeah, I found an example of a wildflower that's perfect to me on Pinterest, which I know might be like a little silly, but I really, really liked it and I was like, this is perfect. Created another tattoo myself and then I had one other idea. So uh, the voucher that I had was for Danny's tattoo salon. Uh, so I went in there, made an appointment, um, but it didn't happen. I mean, I shared the whole experience on my Instagram. So if you follow me there, you would have heard of the whole story already. So I don't really want to repeat it again because it, it was a negative experience and I don't want to bash the Danny's tattoo salon any further because we have resolved it. I don't want this negativity getting a tattoo done and I left it. Um, I re Danis reached out to me, we talked about it. They apologized to me. Um, I asked for the money back that my friends have paid for the coupon, they returned it and it's fine. Like, I mean, if you want to get your tattoo done there, it's completely okay. But to me personally, it wasn't, it just wasn't, I, I wasn't feeling the vibe basically. So I was recommended this salon called Poda. It's quite new in Klaipeda. Two ladies opened it. I think they're around my age. I went in there and they were so lovely. So a lot of you guys recommended um, Gerda. But I got my tattoos done by Yedra Gabriela and she is like a ray of sunshine. She's such a lovely, positive human being and she's so easy to communicate with. She will go over the tattoo and change it as many times as you want. She will give you advice on the placement and the sizing and the everything, the technical things of the tattoo and she's so comforting and reassuring and just yeah amazing absolutely amazing super professional as well very hygienic like only good things and um, she made me feel so comfortable that i was actually dozing off getting my tattoos done right before my appointment i actually changed my mind and I wasn't gonna go for a wild flower anymore. I decided on a rose. Roses are my favorite flowers and um, one of my absolute favorite quotes of all time is from the little prince, which says, um, it is the time that you have wasted on your rose that makes your rose so important. And you can apply it to so many different things in life. I love that quote. And also, this year, or maybe at the end of last year, I fell in love with a song by Duke Ross. It's called Fresh Roses and I was like, roses, 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 I need to get a rose. And um, yeah, so I did. Uh, this was the place where I was gonna get a wildflower. I have a little rose instead. Gedra Gabriela actually um, combined a couple of different tattoos and made a little rose which I think is so pretty and she used the skinniest needle. Actually, it's such different experience getting a tattoo done now because when I got these done at 15, I remember the tattoo gun being so loud and like it was like almost like being at a dentist. So the sound itself kind of scares you, but the tattoo guns now are so quiet. They have no sound at all. So yeah, that's why I was getting sleepy. Um, so this one is the biggest out of the three that I got. Pain level, maybe four out of 10, not too painful. The other one that I got is actually my own idea, design if you can call it, um, is actually all my family initials. So I'm gonna show you. It's AIAI, -A -I, so my dad, mom, brother and I. And it wasn't until this year that I realized that our initials are AI, AI. And I wanted to get it done here, like this. But together with uh, Gedre, we decided to change the place and get it here, which I actually love and prefer. And I'm so happy with it. And this is the tattoo that I see all the time. The other ones are not in my view basically but yeah this one i see all the time and i think it's really cute and pretty and um, this one was the most painful because she said this is the most painful place on your arm um but it wasn't too bad and also it's so tiny and skinny so maybe five out of ten i would say or maybe four out of ten i don't know it wasn't too bad okay and the last tattoo uh, I actually 
wanted to get a word milu. It's just one word, but it can mean I love you or I love. Um, and I wanted to get it done in my mom's handwriting. So I asked my mom to write milu on a piece of paper. She did and um, I talked with Gedra Gabriel about it and I wanted it right behind my ear and she said um, that that font wouldn't really work uh, behind the ear because of the placement and it might bleed and yeah, she said it might not look good. So I instead I decided to just go for a super minimal, clean, simple font, not my mom's handwriting, but I think that's still such a nice idea, so maybe in the future I will get um, my mom's or someone else's handwriting tattooed. So I didn't get it behind my ear, but a little lower on my neck, because, I don't know, I think it's maybe a bit more unique and I love it. Here we go, and uh, right below it I have a little mole. I also didn't know I had a mole there, but the tattoo artist said, you know, you have a mole, so we need to work around it. Might be my favorite. Self-love is very important to me, so I like it. And I like that it's in Lithuanian, my own language. So, uh, those are all... Oh, and this one didn't hurt at all. This was the least painful tattoo, so maybe two or one out of ten. Uh, I was so relaxed, I actually closed my eyes. But you can actually feel the vibrations. It's like having your phone vibrate. You feel all the vibrations really clearly, but wasn't painful. So, those are all my tattoos and definitely not my last. Um, I already have some ideas. So for now that's it. I might film an updated version in the future if I have any more piercings or tattoos. Uh, and please guys if you hate tattoos don't be rude. Everyone in my family, pretty much everyone, hates tattoos. Oh actually no, my mom kind of likes tattoos um, and my cousin Daiva has a few. But like my grandmother, she said people who have problems get tattoos, it's like you're, you don't like yourself, you're not confident, you don't like your skin, you try to hide behind tattoos, yada yada yada, she's like, she has a very strong opinion on tattoos and she hates them, but I personally love tattoos on myself, on other people, I find them really hot on guys, so if you hate my tattoos or tattoos in general, please don't comment and don't be rude because they're part of my body now and yeah, I guess try to be kind and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do highly highly recommend Poda uh, Studio. If I'm getting any more tattoos it's definitely gonna be there. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!